Huh. That'll hold some concrete. Yeah. Five buckets of concrete. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm talking to the camera, sorry. Sorry. It's fine. Sometimes when I talk to the camera, my family thinks I'm insane. This guy's got an elbow at the bottom. I think two buckets of concrete will fill that. That's hole still open. And that one's looking pretty good. Yeah. Now this clearly already holds water. It hasn't rained in a little while and there's still water down here. So I don't have to worry too much about it being watertight. I'll just throw some <clears throat> concrete in the bottom here. A few buckets. Good. All right, so what is this thing? Oh, okay. Basically, it's a fart machine. Poop and food scraps and basically biological stuff goes in here and ends up in here. And this is like a cesspool, like all the, all the sludge and stuff just sits down here and uh, decomposes. Now this is gonna have a top that's airtight, this part here. And there'll be tube coming out of it so I can get gases out of it. Now supposedly when everything uh, decomposes in here it's going to make methane bubbles and the bubbles are going to fill up up here and and they'll make they'll make some pressure too so it'll start pushing the liquid down as it fills up against the ceiling and then that's what this guy's for. So as the liquid gets pushed down it gets pushed up into a secondary container over here that's kind of open so that the liquid can go up here and then the tube coming off the top of here will take methane out of there and we will use it on a gas stove and stuff like that. So as the methane gets used up, the liquid will come back up and the secondary chamber will go back down. And this chamber will basically keep pressure on the gases so that when you turn on the little valve, gases will come out and you can light them on fire and there you go. So up here, there's gonna be a toilet and I don't know what else. Stuff to make, make poo and stuff like that go in there. And over here, there'll be a pool, and this'll be airtight with the tube. Mm -hmm. Yep, clear as mud. So, presuming this thing works, and there's no reason it shouldn't, unless I screw it up, but like, people in rural parts of the world are using these things successfully, supposedly. So presuming this thing works, it solves at least three problems. You know, what do you do with poop? Goes in there. Ah, uh, where do you get fertilizer for your plants? Well, it comes out the, the out part. And, uh, how do you get cooking fuel? Oh, it comes out the gas. Ah, three things. It's just solved. It's beautiful. Now, no one, no one I know of or ever heard of in North America has this kind of thing going. Which, to me, is ridiculous. And this is the reason why, even though we have all this technology and understanding about the world, our lives are so difficult. Because we're not, we're not setting things up to, to work together, like, like this fart machine. And I, I know there are stupid political reasons why, you know, the, the economy is a Ponzi scheme. It has to continually grow or else it collapses. So the government has to strongly discourage anything efficient. 
and strongly encourage anything wasteful because our you know economy runs on waste basically the more garbage is produced the more things are turned into garbage the more money is being shoveled around the more yeah. anyway that's a whole other video worth of stuff so I'm super excited if this thing works and you know one more thing I worked in a sewage plant for a few months years ago I was just like part of a crew that was replacing some pipes but I talked to the people at the sewage treatment plant and learned how the whole thing works and it was terrible it was pathetic this was in Toronto Ontario and it was considered to be a pretty good system by city standards but god so much waste oh it's just and like any time that the system got overflowed you know if there was if it was raining or something they just dump a bunch of chlorine into the sewage and then pump it out into Lake Ontario I mean we can do so much better I should I should point I should I should clarify we could do so much better as individuals we're never gonna get there relying on governments to take care of this stuff all right all right I'm done I'm done hmm